welcome to a live play by Grey Elephant Gaming. My name is Tim Norris, aka Grey Elephant. Jacob! It's Jacob, it's my little boy, he's five. And we are going to play... And Jake. Yeah, and Jake. And we're going to play an entire game of Baldrick's Tomb and show you how the game works in real time. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, Tim Norris here, aka Grey Elephant. And this is my little boy, Jacob. <laughs> and we're going to play Baldrick's Tomb. Jake is I love on. this game. He loves this game. That's really sweet. Um, Jacob's five, and what he's doing right now is, is that we've mixed the floor tiles up. There will be a total of 11 of them. They all contain monsters, treasures, traps, uh, healing fountains, and one exit. And he has to make sure that there is a space between each one of the tiles. You can't place them next to each other. So he did a great job of that. So good job, Jake. But two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we do have our eleven. Now we need to set our impending doom tracker up here to the one spot. We've got our treasure, our scrolls, which I always leave Jacob's scrolls face up along with mine because Jacob don't know how to read yet. So <laughs> um, I'm a wiki fighter. He's a yeah. Jacob actually drew his three skill cards, and I have mine. But Jacob's are really great. He's got this one here, which is a great fighter, which allows him to add one to any combat roll. Um, he's got this one, Master Briber, which means if he runs away from a monster, it costs him one less gold. And he's also got Lucky Strike, so if he ever rolls an eight or better, uh, that combined with the great fighter is terrific because he actually does two points of damage instead of just one. Uh, I actually have Endurance, which actually increased my health by two, so that's really cool for me. Uh, I have the Switcheroo, that means I can swap two uh, tiles on the board if I decide to. And I also have runner which means I can increase my poison marker if I choose to want to move extra spaces. Now we both do have some scrolls here but we'll go over those as we're playing the game. So we've got our impending doom marker at one. We've got our little levels thing here and the goal is is to make it through each one of the four floors, collect as much gold as you can. Whoever ends the game with the most gold wins. So. We got the board set up. Now all we need to do is Jacob did win already the first one, the landmarker token. So Jacob, why don't you go ahead and roll the two dice and let's find out where you land so inside. Like, so it's like I could get this because I always win this game. Because you always win this game. That's right. So go ahead and roll the dice. And we will take the red one first, which is a six. And then we'll take the blue one. So we have a 61 for Jacob. So we find that number here on the board, which happens to be... Uh-oh, he could be on something bad. We'll find out. I am a 57, so let's see, and I'm right here. So, we are ready to play Baldrick's Tomb. Jacob, you've now our first player, so we will increase the impending doom track once, and you will go ahead and flip that title that you're standing on, and let's see what you're on. <gasps> Yay! He found a monster. Yeah. So, Jacob, you are going to fight a monster. Are we ready? It's a bat. Okay, so let's explain the card real quick. Down here are the numbers. We roll an eight-sided die, and depending on what Jake rolls, for instance, if he rolls a one, the monster would run away. If he rolls a two or three, the monster will hurt him. A uh, four, the monster would poison him, but Jacob would hit him. A five, six, seven, or eight, Jacob just hits it. The monster is a level one. It has one hit point, and if he beats it, which he will, he will get two gold. So, Jacob, ready? Beat this monster up. Roll your dice, and a seven. Well, given the fact he rolled a seven, plus his great fighter ability, that made it an eight, which means you just clobbered the snot out of that bat. So, Jacob, two gold doubloons. Yay. This tile will come off for the uh, moment, and we'll put it right down here. Now, Jake, you get four total movement points. Where do you want to move to, bud? You can go to more of these tiles here. Where do you want to go? So it's like I could only go to these tiles. Yeah, which ones you want to go to. Okay, so that would be one, two, three. Let's go ahead and flip that one over. Uh-oh, what is it? It's a trap. It's a trap, that's right. So we flip over the top trap card and... Oh no, this one says spring trap. Roll the die to land in a new spot. So you have to roll both of these and it's going to flip you over to a new spot on the board. That's awesome. Yeah. That's actually All right, so it's an 86. Pew! That wasn't too shabby. So we discard that. Now, Jacob, you still have one more movement point, too. And look, you got a tile right here in front of your guy. You want to walk on it? Yes. Yeah, let's pink. Let's see what it is. <gasps> what is it? A monster! That's right! Let's flip over your card. What is it? 
A rat. A rat. He's got a fighter rat. Now rats will poison you. So, why don't you go ahead, take your one dice, and let's see what happens here. Okay, so you rolled a seven. However, combine that with Jake's uh, great fighter ability. That makes it an eight. Given the fact this rat has two hit points uh, with his lucky strike, which actually gives him two damage to this rat already. So you killed the rat in one roll. You are so lucky when you fight monsters. <laughs> okay, now Jake, we need to go ahead and put these three tiles back on the... Oh, can you got get it. that? Got it, got yeah, I dropped it, didn't I? Yeah. So what we got to do now is we're going to roll the dice and we're going to place all three of these tiles back on the board. So I'll tell you what, you want to roll them or you want me to? I want. You want to roll them? So go ahead and just roll them right there. Uh, 62 is where we'll put the trap. Go ahead and roll again. And we're going to put a monster on this time, a 64. And go ahead and roll again. One more time, bud. And a 45. So that would go there. Okay, and you do leave them face up on the board. So as I'm wandering around, I can decide if I want to step on them or not. So, given the fact, now it is my turn. So I am going to go one. Oh, I found a treasure chest. Yes! Yay. So I get to flip that over, and I got one money. Yeah! -hoo. So that was one. Two, three. Uh-oh. I found me a monster, too. So let's see what I got to fight. That's yeah, another one of them rats. So I just roll the die. I rolled a five. That means I hit it. So I'm going to take... It's got two health. I'm going to pop that on there to show I hit it. And I rolled a three, which means I did hit it, but it poisoned me. That's... but So at least it's dead. Um, so I do get two gold for defeating that rat. And I do have one more movement point, so I'll move this direction. So now I'm going to take my two tiles and an 11, which is already covered. So I had the choice I could put it on either side. I'll put it right there. And a 78. And gee, look how lucky you are. You actually had the treasure chest pop up right next to you. Mm. <laughs> okay, Jake. It's your turn again, so we're going to increase the impending doom marker. And it is your turn. Yeah. What are you going to do? You want to get this treasure? This way, if you want to be... Be easy, then I put, put that right there. Well, that yeah, once the Impending Doom, we're going to play on the easy mode. But, uh, so it's going to take it all the way to 6 before we get trapped in on this floor. So we're okay. we got plenty of time. So you want to get this treasure box and get some money? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll move you. One, two. Go ahead and flip your card. Let's see what you got, bud. Two gold. Go ahead and grab your two gold out. Get it? Okay. And then you got two more movement points left to go. What do you want to do? You want to head this direction and see what this tile is right here, buddy? Mm, yeah. Yeah? You want to move one, two like that? Is that good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So let's go ahead and roll the dice and let's put the gold chest back on the board. A 48. All right. Boop. Put it right there, right next to you again. How convenient. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I'm going to go one. Okay, so what I found here was a fountain that would actually heal my health if I wanted to. But we'll take that off for the moment. Uh, two, three. Uh, found another one. And I'm going to go four and move right to there. So now uh, I'm just going to roll to put these back on. So a 56. And, or a 65, that should have been, I'm sorry. And a 25. There we go. So we still haven't found the exit, so I'm going to go ahead and increase it because it's Jake's turn again. Jacob, you want to step here and see what that is? All right. You found the exit! Yay! Do you want to go down now or do you want to go for this treasure box and get more money? I want more money. Yeah, well, that's always a good thing. So he can choose not to go down, but because he is the first person to discover the exit, he gets an extra gold coin for it. You lucky. Look at your stack of gold over there. So, you want to move up here to the treasure box? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, you are lucky. Now, we don't re-roll and place this any place new. We actually just leave it right where it's at. Um, so, now it would be my character's turn again. Um, so, I'm just going to step here. One. Okay, well, I found a scroll. That's what these are here. And so, I actually just take the top scroll card. And I'll just add it to my stack over here. Um, now, these will allow you to move extra spaces, which actually that's what that one in fact does. 
it'll allow you to move extra spaces, or I can ignore a trap card if I drew it. Uh, and in this one here, once we get to some of the harder monsters, I can decide if I want to use it to add three to my dice rolls when fighting them. So, and the artwork is absolutely gorgeous on these. It'd be really cute once it's all colored in. So, uh, I believe that was two. And I'm going to go ahead and just start three, four. I'm going to fight me another monster is what I'm going to do. So, uh-oh. Look, Jake. It's a kabold. Ooh. Is it hard? Yeah, I'm going to beat him up. I think I can. Okay, well, a kabold has two health. So, um, hmm, I don't think I'm going to worry about any of that stuff. That's an antsy. Um, yeah, I think I could beat him up. So, I rolled a four, which means that he hits me once, but I hit him too, so we'll put that on there. He's got a spider on a stick. That'd be enough to make me run away. And then I rolled a six, which is the end of you. So, I get two gold. I'll add that to my little stash there. And that would be the end of my turn, so I'm going to go ahead and put these two back on. So let's do the monster on a 41, which is there. And the scroll, which was a 63, which means it would go there. All right, Jake. Dum -bum -bum. What are you going to do? Is it on a, are we on a card game? Well, I think you're okay because you still got a whole other turn that you can go. You want to get this gold treasure box? Go ahead and flip over your treasure card. Let's see what you got. You're like a treasure hunter. Oh! Just a one. Go ahead and get your one gold. Okay. Would that be awesome if I actually got all the gold? No, because that means I would lose miserably. <laughs> okay, you got three more movement points, buddy. What do you want to do? You want to go ahead and start heading towards the exit and we'll start getting to the next floor so we can fight more stuff? Oh, monsters are way over here. I don't think you're going to have time to get all the way to another monster. Okay, let's see if I can get there. Okay, well, you could go one, two, three, but that would be the end of your turn. So you're going to have to be real careful. All right? Now, it would be my turn, and I think what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, and I'm going to fight this monster. Oh, we forgot to put your treasure box back on. Let's do that real quick. Go ahead and roll your dice. A 52. So that actually would go back there now. All right, so that was three movement points. I'm going to fight me a monster, and it's a bat. I think I can beat this guy up. So let's see what I do. I rolled a two, which means he, he actually hit me. Ugh. I've got extra health, so I'm not quite as scared. I rolled a two again. He hit me again. This ain't good. And a two again. Okay, the red dice goes away. I'm rolling the blue one. Four. Okay, he poisoned me, but I did hit him, so he is destroyed. That was a uh, that was almost a little scary, <laughs> but that's okay because now I will step there, and I will restore my health points all the way back up to eight. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now I'll go ahead and roll these, and I rolled an eighty-four, which means I'll place that there, and now I've got a monster, which is a thirty-eight, and that goes there. Now, Jacob, you got one turn left, so we need to go ahead and just exit because otherwise you're going to get stuck in here and you're going to lose all your money. Or well, half your money. Doink! So you are the first one to leave, and you know what that earns you? What? An extra gold piece. Uh... So we'll put you right there. And now, because Jacob's done, I'm going to go ahead and leave too, and that would be the end of this floor. What? So, did this help you understand Baldrick's tomb? Now there are some other actions you can do, like run away from monsters and stuff, but that will all be explained in the how to play. So what I'm going to do is, I'll finish my little my game here with my little boy, but we, but we may skip ahead and cut out some of it because playing with a kid, it can take a little longer than expected. So uh, we'll show you how to use scrolls and stuff, but I'll leave that stuff in. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the next floor here real quick. So to do that, we're going to take off both of our our guys. We're going to take the going down marker, move it down because now we're on the second floor, and now we're going to add Baldrick's Gym into the mix of Rubble Tiles. Now Baldrick's Gym is basically just a uh, worth five gold pieces, so nothing more special than just that. But we're going to mix those all up. Jacob, you want to go ahead and drop those all on. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and mix our trap cards back up, plop them back on. Our scroll cards, didn't do all those. We're going to go ahead and mix up our gold cards again. Jacob, you're a good helper, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and drop our treasure cards back on. Reset our impending doom marker on the board. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take level 2 monsters, and we're going to add them into the stack with the level 1 monsters. So every now and then we're going to get a bit of a harder monster Wait, that we're this, going to have to fight. this time, mix all the monster cards. That's when we get to level 3, remember? When we get to level 3, the next floor, that's when we fight the even harder monsters. And level 4, too. There's no level 4 monsters. I thought that was kind of funny. I thought that there would be. I only found level 3, but that's okay. The level 3 monsters are kind of hard enough to try to defeat. Now, the other thing you do is we're going to reset our health all the way back up to 8 and our poison marker back down to 0. Yeah, I'm You want to go ahead and move yourself this time? Good boy. 1, 2, 3. <gasps> it's a monster. Ooh, this time it's a warlock. He's hard. Yeah, he's a little harder, but he's not impossible because you're really strong. So, you ready? Let's see what happens. Go ahead and roll your dice. An eight? Oh my goodness, Jake, you are so awesome. So, his eight com combined with his lucky strike will do two points of damage on this warlock, which means that he is El Finito. So, that will give you not one, not two, but three gold coins, mister. Yeah. So It's a gave us a myriad because he's hard. Well, he's obviously not hard for you because you are a great fighter, my man. One. Go ahead and flip your card. Let's see what you got. Yes! Three more? Oh my goodness. You're I'm killing so, me. I'm so lucky. Okay. You want to move one more onto this one and see what it is? Yes. Okay. Oh! <gasps> He found Baldrick's gem! Now, I could try to steal it if I ever get close to him, but, whew, man, he is rolling in the dough. You are a bona fide dungeon crawl expert, Jake. What do you mean for the gem? That means that that is worth five gold money, Jake. <laughs> so I'm going to go one, get one gold coin, two. Oh, no, it's a trap! Tripwire. Oh, great. I get to discard three gold, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to use my scroll, which is agility, which will allow me to avoid that tripwire, because I am not going to get rid of any gold. Go ahead and flip your card. Let's see how much gold you got. Aha, you only got one. Here you go. Good boy. <laughs> go ahead and roll the two dice, and let's see. I have the gold. You, you got a lot more than me. Look at that. You're killing me. Go ahead and roll those, and we'll put the gold... What? I could actually kill you with the money? No, 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 no. But you're you're killing me in the amount... It's funny talking to a five-year-old when you say you're killing me. Uh, <laughs> no, you're beating me is what I mean really badly. So, a 36 for this one. And go ahead and roll again, and we'll do the, the fountain. We'll I think one. what's cool is that you, you could actually get more energy. Uh, yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. So the healing fountain and this are right there. So I may need it because we're going to see, I guess, what I'm standing on. Oh, of course, I'm standing on a trap. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not going to let this happen. A rock fall. It would reduce my health to one. So I am going to go ahead and use my other scroll that allows me to dodge such an action. I am not going to take that. That would be awful. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Oh, I got three gold off that treasure and yeah, what four. Monkey? Uh oh, I gotta fight a monster, Jake. This could be bad. It could die, be a. Die, die, die. He's he's over there saying die, die, die. Listen to him. Ah. <laughs> I says do that because I want to lose on the monster. Uh, well, there you go. See, I I cheer for him, but yeah. you ready? Oh, okay, it's a stinky warthog. All right. So it could be bad, it could be good. We're going to find out here. Um, I have to roll a 7, or a 6, 7, or an 8 to be able to hit him. Anything else, he just poisons me. So, And I did roll a 7, so bam! I got to hit him again. I rolled a 6! I slaughtered that pig. We are having a hog roast tonight, and he gives me 2 gold. But he's a stinky pig, so we may not want to eat him. He may be bad meat, so... That was all for my movement points. Uh, you know, I could possibly steal 
Baldrick's gym from him. But I don't want to do that because that would be mean. Monster. So you got a monster! I hope you get a hard one. Oh! <gasps> what did you get? Werewolf. Oh no, it's a very civilized, gentlemanly like werewolf. Kind of Scottish. He's got a kilt on too. Hey, laddie! I'm a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake. This one's gonna be a tough one for you. You ready? Five, which would actually be a six. Boom! You hit him once. You have to hit him two more times, though, buddy. Come on, Jake. You can do it. And... Uh-oh. That means he hit you. Come on, Jake. Oh, I want to eat you. Oh, you're delicious. Oh! An eight up top. That means you hit him twice. Bam! Bam! And you get how much... Look at that. Three gold. Great job, Jacob. I have a bunch of men. You are a monster slain fool. Boo! Woo! <laughs> High five! High five. Well, that was one movement. Okay, so you still have three left. You want to check this one? One, two, three. Let's flip it over. <gasps> a scroll! So, let's go ahead and flip that over. A fireball. Nice! So, you've got two fireballs. You've got so much firepower over there. It is not even funny. You want to go ahead and roll those? And let's see where we're going to put the scroll on first. Pinning Doom. I'm going to go one. Oh, no, it's a trap. Yeah. I have to discard three gold. <laughs> you always get that trap. I know. It's not fair. <laughs> uh, so two, three. Let's uh, go ahead and I get two gold back. Three. Uh, then I'll go four. Move this. So let's go ahead and put these back on. 47. All right, so Jacob, your turn, buddy. You want to head this direction and see what this tile is? Oh, you don't roll those, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to go towards that direction? One, two, three, and you found the exit. That gets you a gold piece. Do you just want to leave? If you leave, you get another gold piece. Good. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so Jake go ahead and leaves, which means Jake is out of the game. So now, I think I'm just going to have to see if I can. He's, he's killing me in the gold. He is killing me. So uh, so I'm going to go ahead, go one, two. And this is a monster, so I'll probably lose. Oh, no. Look, it's that, it's that one that looks like a treasure box. Is he way hard? Yeah, he's going to be for me. But I'm going to fight him. So I rolled a two, which means, ooh, actually a two's good. That actually puts more money on him, so I don't mind that. A uh, five, which means that we hit each other. Okay. And he's got two health. I rolled a five again, which means he's dead. I took another hit, um, and I get a three total money. So I don't remember how many movement points that was. Was that? I think I had two left. So that restores my health points. All right, so let's, and now I'm just going to go ahead and leave. So, now, let's tally up the booty, baby. Yeah. So, do you want to count yours up first? And let's see. Actually, you know what? Let Daddy count his first. Because uh, I think you slaughtered me. So, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 pieces of gold. Uh-huh, so. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17. Is that how much money you have? That's how much you've got. Keep going. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So that tw daddy had 23. So you've got 24. Keep going. 25, 26, 27. And then this is worth five. 32 pieces of gold to my 23. <laughs> well, Jacob, that was a slaughter. How much money did you end up with? You remember? Mm, I think it's 32. 32. 32. How much did I end up with? 23. 23. So 32 to 23. So he is a dungeon crawling master. 
we've had a lot of fun with this game. And uh, this video was intended to show you in real time how the game works. We have a how to play we're going to be posting up. And also, if you want our opinions, we're going to have a quick review, which will be about five minutes long. But Jacob will go into more detail what he thinks of Baldrick's too. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. You going to say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>